Hi friends, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made this rolled buttercream. Yes, you heard that right, rolled buttercream. Buttercream that rolls like fondant, but tastes like buttercream. Lavender haze inspired cake. Even the butterflies on this cake are made with buttercream. I also included a silver drip that was not done with any chocolate and some meringues that I happen to have on hand. And there is also a stencil. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how I made this rolled fondant. Or I'm sorry, rolled buttercream. That's hard for me to change what I'm saying. So we have a cup of butter that is at room temperature. It is soft, it's not melted, but it's soft. And we're gonna put that in our mixer. And we're gonna whip that on high to lighten it up until it is lightened and fluffy. And once you reach that stage, you're going to add the rest of your ingredients. Scrape down your bowl to make sure you got everything incorporated. We're gonna incorporate a cup of light corn syrup. You can use golden corn syrup if you're in the European countries that you, where you cannot purchase that. And then I added a little bit of white food coloring because butter is always going to have a yellow tone to it. You could add just a touch of gray or lavender if you prefer. Not gray, I'm sorry, lavender or lilac if you prefer, but I just added the white and you can see how that lightened it up. And I had added four teaspoons of clear vanilla, make sure it's clear. And this got a little messy. I usually have a shield that I put on top of my bowl, but then you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just adding the powdered sugar and I added one and a half bags, which is three pounds, I believe, but I would almost suggest using up to two entire bags of um, powdered sugar because you're gonna wanna get it to a consistency to where it's pretty firm. But when you wrap it up like this and you put it in your refrigerator for up to four hours, it will firm up a little bit more. And there I showed you one that I made before that was without the food coloring and then the one with. After they have chilled, you're gonna wanna put a whole bunch of cornstarch on your working surface. I suppose you could use powdered sugar if you prefer to keep it all um, on the sugar side, but that would be a lot of extra sweetness. And you're not gonna really notice the cornstarch adds anything to your flavor at all. It's just making it workable because this is much softer and tends to be a little stickier than fondant. So you're gonna have to work with a lot of cornstarch. And I wanted to make this an ombre because lavender haze to me is different shades of purple. Um, yes, this is Taylor Swift inspired. Um, <laughs> not a huge Swifty, but I really like her new music. So anyway, we're gonna just kind of keep folding it. Kind of like when you make croissants, you're gonna push it out and then fold it and kind of push it out again. And eventually you'll get to the point where you're gonna to wanna to use your roller. Once you got it blended as much as you want, use your roller to, to um, smooth it out. And again, lots of cornstarch on top of your, we're just gonna call it buttercream because that's what it is, and while you are working with it. Cause you don't want it to stick to your roller either. And then I had rolled out a little extra piece here. I didn't really show that because it was kind of almost off camera, but I did the same thing with this. It's just the color from that I have on the lightest part of this. Rolled it out and then placed that on tap, top. I just added a little water to get the buttercream to stick to the buttercream. Now I have a piece of acetate here. If I had planned ahead, and I did this one another time recently, if I had thought ahead about this, I would have rolled out the buttercream on top of a piece of acetate and then put the other piece of acetate on top, but I didn't think it through. Um, so I just rolled, you know, tipped the whole mat upside down. And there is um, shortening on that acetate to make the buttercream stick to it while you are lifting it up onto your cake, because we're gonna do the panel method. I brushed off the extra cornstarch and then attached it to my chilled cake. There is a crumb coat of buttercream on the cake before we lifted the rolled buttercream on it. Uh, if you did a second coat of buttercream on top of your um, crumb coat, you would have a lot of buttercream. So I didn't think it was necessary. And then we're just gonna remove the acetate. I had actually set it in the freezer for I would say about an hour before I removed the acetate. It didn't take too long. Butter tends to firm up pretty quick. 
just like a stick of butter firms up quickly. You could leave it overnight if you wanted to. That would be fine also. And then I just kind of did a rough tear along the top edge and I'm just filling in where I had some air bubbles between the acetate and the buttercream. And that's fine, it kind of just blended that, um, that pale ombre just a little bit more and we're just smoothing that out. I worked with it for a little while, just keep filling the holes. And then I'm spraying that purple bottle is just water to help me smooth it out. And then I set it back in the refrigerator while I worked on the other details. And these are just macarons and some meringues, meringues that we had. The uh, meringues were used by my boss for an order this week and she had some extras, so I thought I would go ahead and include those. And what I'm using here is um, some uh, Color Mill food coloring in the color, I believe this was lilac and mixed with a little bit of Everclear. Now, I would not suggest using this color, the um, oil-based color with Everclear, because as I discovered, it kind of wants to separate and clump up. So you might want to stick with a more, um, a gel food coloring for this. But that's, I was going with a certain color scheme and I wanted, I made it work, but I would not do the oil-based. And once I got those, I got, actually I didn't say I put a little bit of, of uh, shimmer dust, pearl dust on top of those also. And I used the stencil I already had. I've used it a couple times here and I just taped off the sections that I did not want transferred onto the cake. I wanted it to be at an angle. So I just taped that off with masking tape. Not on the side that's next to the cake, but the side that's sticking out, not exposed or not touching the cake. And I just used that same, that same um, buttercream and I had added a little bit of extra food coloring to it to do the stencil. And here I'm adding some more of that color mill. This time I use lavender and I'm mixing it with that rolled buttercream. This is how I'm making the butterflies. And just go ahead and use some more cornstarch on your mat. Put your buttercream on there. Just kind of pat it down, make sure it's not sticking too much. This is very soft when it is compared to fondant, so don't be surprised by that. And I'm just pressing in the butterfly impression. I'm using both sides of this um, little impression because one's um, the, the negative and one's the um, other side. How, how do you say it? One's the raised pattern, one is the impressed pattern. Just for a little variation. And it comes with a little cutter, so you cut those out. And I just used some parchment paper and I folded it up and sticking the butterflies in there so that it gives them some movement and pop that into your freezer until they are frozen. Now I'm actually using some, these um, are pieces of lavender. These are artificial lavender flowers. Just put a, ran a little bead of buttercream around the very bottom and I just cut the floral parts off of the stems that I bought and I'm just arranging them all the way around the bottom and using some of the leaves in between to fill it in a little bit. And then I have some other random lavender and purple flowers that I'm using to help decorate. Attaching with some buttercream along with the meringues and the macarons. And this is how I'm making this no chocolate drip. I did this in a gold method before, but I used a different recipe. This time it has an extra ingredient, which is powdered sugar. So it's powdered sugar, it is um, Everclear, and your luster dust, whichever one you want. And you add enough powdered sugar to get it to a good drip stage. This is how I test to see if my drip is in the best dripping consistency. I just use one of my boards and, or scrapers and I put it on and watch it drip. And now here I was messing with the consistencies, adding a little bit more powdered sugar or adding a little bit more Everclear to get it to the right drip consistency. You don't want it to drip all the way down. So if it's dripping too fast down your scraper on your test drips, you know that you need to add a little bit more powdered sugar. And if it's not moving at all, you add a little bit more Everclear. I like to test it on something else besides the cake. Then I know it's right. 
and that drip worked way better than the one I used before. The one before did not have the powdered sugar in it, and that made all the difference in the world. This did stop dripping. It got to that point and just stopped. This is the next day, actually, where I'm adding the buttercream butterflies. And you can see that the drip stopped where it was. So that's excellent. I am sold. This is how I will continue to do my drips from here on out. I'm just adding a little bit more of that uh, pearl shimmer dust to add a little bit of shimmer to my lavender haze cake. Because why not? We're, it's lavender haze. I think it goes with it. So I hope you liked it, guys. I hope you give it a try. And I hope you got something from this that you can use. And we'll catch you on the next one. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.